Hey everyone, my name is Architect, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some useful lineups for Viper on the new updated version of the map Breeze. These lineups include both snake bites and poison clouds that can be utilized to either help your team execute onto the bomb sites easier, or, as most of you watching this video are probably hoping for, to deny spike diffuses and secure post plants. I've included timestamps in the description, so feel free to look through them to find any specific lineups you're looking for. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with probably the most important lineup that you should take away from this video, and that's the snake bite from A main to the A side default plant. You're going to want to climb on top of this pile of rocks and wedge yourself into this corner. Then you're going to want to pull out your snake bite and find this little protrusion in the wall that kind of looks like a V or a check mark. Place the top right corner of the mouse indicator box on the tip of the V and then click to shoot. This snake bite will land directly on the corner of the pyramid. If you have both snake bites available, here's how you can time them so that they'll land one after the other. After you shoot your first one, watch the blue line that trails behind it, and once that line disappears from the bottom of your screen, wait one second and then fire the next one. This will ensure the maximum duration that the spike will be covered. If you or your teammate planted the spike more towards the middle of the base of the pyramid, you can use this lineup from the same spot. Look for this leaf that's sticking out towards the top of the wall, and simply place your crosshair on the tip of it and shoot. This will land more towards the front of sight in the middle of the pyramid's base. Here's an alternate lineup spot that you could also use depending on the situation. Walk into this corner by the large rock, and look for this wooden triangle underneath the satellite dish. Place the tip of the HUD line next to the snakebite icon in the little gap of the triangle, and then click to shoot. This lands in the same spot as the first lineup, right at the corner of the pyramid. With this lineup spot, you're slightly closer to the spike so you can peek the diffuser faster, but you'll be more exposed to enemies pushing you from shop compared to the first lineup. So I'd only recommend this spot if you have teammates protecting you. If you want to throw your poison orb on the default plant spot, climb onto the top of this giant rock and stand on the tip of it. Find this leaf that's sticking up over these metal sheets and place your crosshair on the bottom right corner of it. Then you're going to do a jump throw. This orb will land at the corner of the pyramid, and it's good for helping smoke off this common op angle for your team as they push onto site, as well as set up for post plan to combo with your mollies. If your team is hitting A and you want to molly the corner towards back site, come to the top of the stairs and walk into the wall. Look at this dark line in the stack of bricks and place your crosshair on the point where the line meets the orange bag. Click to shoot, and this molly will clear out this common hiding spot. To molly the close left corner as you're hitting A site, Stand in front of this poster. Place your crosshair on the bottom right corner of these overhead lights and take a step forward as you shoot the snake bite. This will completely cover the close up corner and flush out any enemies playing there. If you're lurking mid, you can molly the A side plant spot by standing in this corner. Look up at this metal box and place your crosshair on the top left tip of it. Click to shoot and this molly will land on the default plant spot. If you want to cross into mid doors without having to worry about defenders posted up nest or elbow, walk into this corner by these water droplet drawings. Look at the satellite dish on top of the tower in mid, and place the HUD line in between the snake bite and poison cloud icon in the middle of the dish, cutting it into halves. Click to throw, and this poison cloud will completely block off anyone holding an angle from nest or elbow, allowing you to cross into doors and isolate any fights. To molly the default plant on B, Walk into this corner next to the wooden crate. Look up and place your crosshair on the tip of this leaf that's sticking out. Click to shoot, and this molly will land on the default plant spot. If the spike is planted safe behind the stack of bricks, all you have to do is move your crosshair slightly to the right and shoot. If you want to throw your poison cloud on top of the common plant spots on B, from the same spot as the previous snakebite lineups, focus on this flower on the wall. Pull out your poison cloud, and place the left diamond of the mouse indicator box on that flower, and do a jump throw. This poison cloud will cover the typical plant spots on B. If you're lurking mid and want to molly the spike on B, walk into this corner. Focus on this dark gray rectangle that's on this orange box. Pull out your snake bite and place the tip of the bottom right HUD line on the bottom right of that rectangle. 
Quick to shoot, and this molly should cover both of the common plant spots. To molly the corner cubby area on B site, look up at these leaves and focus on this little triangle gap right here. Place your crosshair at the bottom point of that triangle and click to shoot. This molly will clear out this annoying corner across from the default plant spot. To molly the close right corner as your team is hitting B, find this crescent shaped leaf and place the tip of the bottom left HUD line on the rightmost point of that leaf. Then you're going to pull just slightly down and to the right. Click to shoot and this molly will land in the close right corner as you're exiting B main. This molly is particularly useful when the enemy team is on an eco round and is more likely to be playing close angles. This post plant vipers pit setup on B is incredibly strong. After the spike is planted default, pop your ult on this corner. Then, you can jump on top of this box and quickly reposition into this cubby. When you hear the enemies tap the spike, you can either jump back on top of the box and shoot your molly at the spike, or you can just bank the snake bite off this wall. Just aim your crosshair anywhere to the top right of this window and take a step forward as you shoot it for extra momentum. And as always, if you know that you have your Viper Spit and you're going to end B, it's probably a good idea to buy a shorty. And that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and learned something useful to apply in your ranked games. Let me know in the comments what agent guide you'd like to see next, whether it be for Viper or anyone else. I'm going to be posting new guides every week going forward, so please consider subscribing if you want to see more. Thank you all for watching, Architect, clocking out.